Well, it looks like we still have control of the ships. Why, hello there, everybody. How's it going? x Gen General 4 here. Today, we're going to be playing a bit of Kerbal Space Program. So, let's go ahead and get this started here. Start game. Moon or bust? For those of you that don't understand that reference, go back to school. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go ahead and start a new game here. We'll call it The Coolest Place Ever. I'm gonna do sandbox. It's sandbox so much more fun than career. And we're here. I'm getting a whole 10 frames per second. There we go. Back up to 50. And we're gonna go ahead and immediately start building our first ship. So let's go into the little hangar here. And let's go ahead. What type of ship should we build? I'm gonna build a high orbit glider because they're actually really cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my my shuttles. Uh cockpit and keep moving it up because it's got to be relatively high because we're going to put a bunch of boosters on it it's not actually going to be that big itself but let's go ahead and put some propulsion on it okay that's probably good <laughs> and we'll go ahead and put that on there this is going to be the main shuttle the part that we're going to be landing I'm not going to put any parachutes on it just because I'm that skilled it's actually really fun trying to land it I'm not sure if I'll be able to but Hopefully I will. I'm gonna go ahead and put a decoupler on here. And we're gonna go ahead and add two more fuel tanks. One, two. And we're gonna go ahead and add another engine. That way we can have a two stage shuttle. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead here into aerodynamic and I'm gonna grab a delta wing. I'm gonna put on angle snap and dual symmetry mode. We're gonna go ahead and put it on the side so it's like that. Just so it looks pretty. We're going to grab another delta wing and move it down here just so we have kind of two separate shuttles. Then we're going to grab a tail fin and put it on the back. And we're going to put another one down here just to make sure we're stable the whole entire time. It's pretty full. It's pretty full, ain't it? Mm -hmm. It's tall and that's a really weird looking shadow. Especially since it has holes in it. But I guess there are holes between the wings. That's one thing they do need to fix in this game. <laughs> Alright, um... Let's just see ya. We're gonna go ahead and add a radial decoupler. And we'll put that right there. That's good. Yep. And we're gonna go ahead and add the boosters. So, I always start with one of these little tiny fuel tanks. Just because they're easier to put on to the decouplers. Because you can see, like, oh, it's actually attached to this and not attached to the ship kinda nice. Now we're gonna go with the Jumbo Max fuel tanks just cause it looks more like something NASA would do. Seriously, what is with all the accents today? <sighs> Grant, stop speaking in the accents! I'm speaking in a southern accent! <sighs> What's wrong with me? I need to see a doctor. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my fuel tank and we're gonna do quad symmetry. And we're gonna go ahead and snap this down to the bottom. And I'm just gonna do dual symmetry with this. No, I want dual symmetry. Oh, I had this annoying thing earlier. It keeps on setting it to quad symmetry, even though it's only supposed to be two. And the only reason I have this fuel tank down here, I'm actually gonna add one more onto this, is because I want to. Oh crap, I forgot. I want to detach these once we get up there, so I'm actually going to add a radial decoupler. Decoupler. Onto there. There we go. That looks much better. Actually, we're going to move these up to here. And then we'll go ahead and add another one of these so we know we're actually snapping to it, not to the ship. And get some of these. Alright. Looks pretty snazzy. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and grab these and put them on regularly because of that stupid bug where it always changes the regular symmetry to quad symmetry because it wants to be unhelpful. Alright, so basically what I have here is just a simple rocket setup with the boosters and all. Uh, I do have 
the only reason I have one here is one. It would interfere with the shuttle, and this one also acts as a counterweight for the shuttle. It's probably not going to be enough, though, so I'm just going to go ahead and add on this little guy. And I'll go ahead and zoom back in. Zoom in, and we'll add some aerodynamics. Gotta love them aerodynamics. Aerodynamics. We'll go ahead and put on symmetry mode just so we can put this on a bit easier. Well, actually, I don't even need it anymore. I only needed it for that center thing. Nope. Go on. What is it trying to put? <sighs> there. All right. Now I'm gonna go. Actually, I forgot to put the stabilizers onto the rocket itself, so I'm just gonna move that off the side. Advanced inline stabilizer. And put that on. It's beautiful. And then we're gonna get these advanced SAS modules. What does SAS stand for anyway? In our school, it's like a punishment room. It's like temporary detention, in school detention kind of thing. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put some of these RCS, which I'm called on here, simply because they're awesome. And I really want this to be a stable ship, because we're gonna be launching high into the air. And then we'll go ahead and add the nose cone on this one, if we can put it on. And already it's starting to look pretty. Like it's ready for launch, but I do, however, want to not add a parachute. What am I doing? What am I doing? That's ruining the entire purpose. I want to add on some of these strut connectors just to make sure. I also forgot to put the engines on the bottom. We'll do that soon. But I want to go ahead and build these on here just so it's nice and stable. So all these should have them on there. And I'll go ahead and do the same thing up here. The heck? What in the world? Oh, it's because I had the stupid symmetry on. Stupid symmetry, always getting in the way of things. I thought there was no symmetry. Come on. Come on! I'm not covering you in these stupid struts. Okay, looks like we're not having any strut connectors there because it's being. uh annoying. We'll just put it at that. And we'll go ahead and attach there. And attach there just to make sure the shuttle is nice and secure. And it's not bouncing around like I did with my last launch. Go ahead and add another. The radial decoupler should be powerful enough to get rid of these. And then I also want to add on some winglets to the ship just to make sure we have some way to control it while we're coming down at 800 miles an hour from the atmosphere. That way we can add some brakes. And it's looking pretty good. If I do say so myself. Except we've got to add on those things down there. Let's go ahead and move it way up. Way up higher than a worm. Sorry. Actually, I'm going to move this up as high as I can. That way I can have really big, unnecessarily large thingies. What am I saying? Unnecessarily large, uh... Ah, what am I thinking? Oh, okay, game just froze there. There we go. Uh, launch stabilizers, that's what I was looking for. So we're gonna go ahead and put some of these on. <laughs> yep, unnecessarily large. My favorite. And then we'll go ahead and add on eight of them. Alright, well the rocket's looking pretty good, so we need a name for it. Let's go with... And uh, not on title spacecraft. De de Why can I not type today? Coolest ship. And then we gotta do. Boop boop. Yeah, cool. I'm a really slow typer all of a sudden. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and save the ship just in case we somehow nuke the game. Not sure how that's possible, but it's not worth the risk. Oh, I also have to add on the, uh. The uh, thruster locks onto here. I'm actually only gonna do three because I don't want it to interfere with disconnecting the shuttle from the thing. We're gonna go ahead and save, and it looks about ready for launch, except that I forgot the stages. What I always do is I set it up so I do the initial launch first, and then the things disconnect so that way if I forget to amp or forget to throttle it up I don't all of a sudden go crashing to the ground 
So then we go ahead and get rid of these once they die. Right? Right? What's this one? I want to find that one because I want to put that one on a separate layer since it's a smaller tank. So it's the last one. You go. No, just you. Just you. You're special. You go here. Oh, they grabbed the wrong one. I did, didn't I? What? Why aren't you? Well, all of a sudden, there my game decided to crash, of course. So I'm just going to go ahead and do what I was doing before. So we're going to go ahead and get this main thruster with the other thrusters. And then we're going to go ahead and put these guys on their own separate layer. Come on. Come on. Nope, nope. Uh, there we go. Okay, you guys go there. So then we launch those, and then this one goes. And then we don't want this entire thing to just <laughs> separate. The heck? Oh, okay. That one's this one, so we want to put the bottom one. Oops. Okay. Which one's this one? You're special, so you come down here. Alright. So that way we can lose that one since it's got less fuel power than all of these do. We'll lose this one too. It doesn't really matter with that fuel. We already have enough. And then, okay. So then after we disconnect those, we're going to want to do this and have these boost. Now we separate up here and this one starts to boost. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and save here just in case the game decides to crash again. And we're going to go ahead and do a test launch just to make sure we've got all the systems set up. And we're going and we're loading and we're loading and we're loading. And time warp times one. Alright. Well, it looks like it's going to work, so it looks pretty stable. The ship doesn't seem to be bouncing, so I'm going to go ahead and throttle up here. T and R for the RCS and SAS. So now we go ahead and launch and then we disconnect. And it looks like we are going to tilt some, but we'll see if the RCS can and the SAS can fix that. Yep, looks like we're just a bit heavy over here, so I might take that off. We are getting overheated a bit here. That's fine though, it should only go halfway, because by then we're going to be way out of the atmosphere. Come on, only go halfway. You don't have to go any further unless you want to. Anyway, we're going to be disconnecting most of these. Yeah, it's going to stay around half. Slowly moving up. Slowly, but it looks like it's going to stay there. We're already almost done with our first guy right there. That's this little bugger. And we're at 4,000 meters. See, what I hate about the U.S. is they use feet. It's like, way to be unique, U.S. Unique your lark. <laughs> Stupid tongue twister. Okay, well, it looks like we're twisting. And I just totally messed that up. Nope, can I recover? Can I recover? I might be able to recover. Hiss, 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 hiss. I'm saying hiss, just so you know. Okay, well, we're going upside down. We're going to go ahead and drop that guy. we go ahead. Okay, we obviously can't correct this, so I'm going to go ahead and let the guy go. Did we lose a wing? No, we didn't. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and disconnect this ship. Since it's well, it looks like we still have control of the ship, so let's go ahead and try and fly it. <laughs> okay, we're going to go ahead and even out here, and we're going to go ahead and go into a nosedive. And I have actually piloted a ship like this. Oh, hi there. We're falling faster than you, even though you're like 80 times the mass of us. Okay, so we're going at 173, 174. I'm actually going to do this so I can gain some speed so I can pull myself up later. So I can go like that. And then, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and get at a steady here. We aren't getting much horizontal speed. I don't want to lose you, Jebediah. I might have you go EVA last second to see if you can survive. Okay. Aim close here, 2000. I'm going to go ahead and start trying to break. Okay, I'm going to actually do this so I can get some lateral speed and looks like we're gonna have to crash it's alright Jebediah I got you man no 
Jebediah died. Who's a brave soul? Note to self, take that off. Let's see, did Jebediah die? Yep, okay. Revert to vehicle assembly, and we can take off that extra weight. Because that is basically just ruining the entire thing. I don't even know what I was thinking putting that on there. Honestly. Okay, well, we can't take that nose cone off because it's being incoherent. My new favorite word. Okay, we're going to go ahead and save and try and launch again. Hopefully, I won't lose control like I did last time because that was stupid. Don't, 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 don't. Aw, drumline stopped. Okay, well, that looks a lot more insecure than it did before. That's no excuse for not launching, though. That's what Cave Johnson would say. We go ahead and launch and let go. And it looks like we're just gonna keep on tilting that way. So I'm gonna go ahead and take control here instead of letting RCS and SAS do what they want. Sorry. <laughs> I hate that song. It annoys the crap out of me. This one's really stupid. Anyway. Oh, we have Jebediah back. He was reincarnated. Or it's like Jebediah coming the 87th. Or something. Jebediah Carmen, Coolest cat around. He likes to... Pet his kitties. And... Never... Shows a frown. Jebediah Kerman. He's so cool and he looks amazed. I don't understand why it's so laggy. I wish it weren't like that. Even though it's trying to simulate what an actual astronaut's camera would look like if it was pointing at his face. It would be much better if it were smooth. Cause that was like back in the 80s time. Drop the- Oh no! Oh crap! Oh crap! Oh crap! Oh crap! Okay, we're losing control again. We'll go ahead and let these guys go. Headed down to Earth. Oh, okay, we just let the entire thing go. I see how it is. Okay, let's go ahead and rotate here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and land this thing. So let's pull up. Come on. You can do it. I know you can. I've done this before. Okay, looks like we're just gonna have to do one of these. Okay. There you go. We've partially recovered from our stall. Okay, I'm just gonna make our aircraft a bit smaller. And I think that we are going to crash. Anybody else in agreement? And come on. Okay, no. I guess we're gonna crash. Mm hmm. I have to get a way to shed that engine. Mm -hmm. I believe I can fly in the sky. Oh, X! Oh my god. I'm an idiot. I forgot I could cut my engines. Well, Jebediah Kerman died twice in a failed launch. Revert to vehicle assembly. Why did this happen? I think it might be because this was also insecure because I never attached the top one because that one was being incoherent. I've said that word like 80 times in the past 5 seconds. Okay, maybe trying to connect this one. Okay, that works. Connecting this one to this one works. Okay, I'll go ahead and save and launch again. Maybe I can keep it under control a bit longer. You my poo. I smell like p Alright, well I clicked out of the window again and I crashed again. So let's go ahead and get this flight underway. And launch! Okay, we're actually heavier on this side now, it looks like. But it looks like RCS and SAS have us covered. I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go like this just so I can get a better idea of how far we're tipping. Then again, I do have the pigeon yaw down here, so it does look like we're leaning this way a bit. We should go on visuals, so. though. Either that or if the pitch is all the way up. <laughs> okay. I was going smoothly at 2,000. Okay. Smoothly at 3,000. Looks like we are getting a bit of an angle down there on pitch, but it 
looks like it's staying between two and one on the gauge. So we're about ready to drop our first engine, which will most likely cause a really big change in mass. I'm just gonna go ahead and drop. Okay. Okay, well. We know that that thing's what's causing us to crash. So let's go ahead and drop those. I'm gonna go ahead and separate. And we might be able to recover from here and just keep on flying up. No? Okay, fine. Be that way. Turn off RCS and SAS here. Okay, well. Looks like we're going to have to do a crash landing yet again, so let's go ahead and spin wildly out of control. Whoop whoop. Unless we can recover. Go ahead and drop that. Nope, that was giving us our extra leverage. Alright, well. This was a miserable failure. At least we weren't that thing. Yep. Maybe if I turn the ship sideways, we can get more <coughs> aerodynamics. And maybe we can pull up. Okay. Come on. Touch the air. I want to try making a ship with all winglets. Well, I conclude that this f mission was an absolutely horrid failure. I apologize, Jebediah, for any damage caused to your property. Just kidding. No, I don't. Spin out! <laughs> Gotta go out with style. Zero meters. Well, we had Jebediah Kerman die three whole times. So, I'm just gonna go back to the Space Center and we'll end this episode because I feel like I'm gonna make this into a series simply because I just wanted to make a ship out of winglets. If you can hear that creaking, that's my chair. It sounds like I'm farting. It's not. <laughs> anyway, um, yep. Well, that's about it for this terrible episode. Uh, it probably wasn't very entertaining because it was the first one, and um, it was a miserable failure at a ship. If I use my actual account, I've got some pretty cool ships. But anyway, adios, yo peoples. See you later. Adios, Asian. Asian, 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 Asian,